so i'm back with another video this is going to be my how i prep for iov and how i plan to pass because we're speaking into existence honey so once again if you hear something in the back it's either planes going by or this air conditioner so first thing i did to prep for my ioe is review my old notes like my old notebooks from training i have technically two one full one and then one like one that's like halfway and i got like old papers so i reviewed all my old stuff so that's number one i review old paperwork number two I would have to say is go over what you were not good at or unsure about during training like if there is something you struggled with like you know like you're still like not the best at I I reviewed all the things that I'm not the best at like um first thing I reviewed I'm just gonna put myself out there first thing I reviewed is pre-flighting um now don't get me wrong I passed and and i pretty much was confident about it it's just certain um items on the pre-flight that i noticed like okay i did have a little bit of a trouble remembering some of this stuff so i'm gonna review it again and just make sure i like i retained it from my test during training but i want to make sure i retained it still like I, it's still up there uh, number three would be to review information that pertains to your trip so I have a four day leg and it's all CRJ 700s, except for my two dead heads. I have a dead head at the beginning and dead head at the end and it's with Delta. But all of my trips, I have 12 legs, two dead heads. So the 10 legs in the middle are all American CRJ 700s. Now I have an advantage with that because that is the plane I did for my pre-flight back in training. And it's not an ERJ. ERJs are like, I won't, I won't say more complicated, a little more advanced. So I reviewed all the information from training. I reviewed all my old information. Then I reviewed information that I knew I struggled with back in training. And then I reviewed information that pertains to my trip. Another thing I did is study my trip sheet. Um, because you want to know what you're looking at. You want to know all the information you're looking at. And you want to know it so well that if you saw another trip sheet, you know, you can still understand what you're looking at. So that is the third thing I did. Um, I used all my old study methods. If you haven't seen my week three, I think that's what I put it in. My week three with my top five favorite study tactics, then go watch that. But um, it's really just note cards, Quizlet voice memos and just reviewing my old notes if i say it enough times i can remember myself saying it or if i make it rhyme making things rhyme is fun and it like it helps me remember so it might help you uh how i plan to pass my ioe so another thing i did which is kind of like prepping how i plan to pass is keep studying even though you think you know it, like keep studying. Oh, the flow of flight, also study that. But keep studying. Um, also watch YouTube videos of people who passed and their like tactics for how they passed, which was, you know, having confidence, studying, making sure you know your stuff, believing in yourself, you know, using your favorite study habits. And I also looked at videos of people who did not pass and maybe I can like learn from their mistakes and the main thing I seen was lack of studying, um, thought it was going to be easy, and pretty much just didn't, didn't really focus on the airline and the job after new hire training. So I tried to make sure I implemented those ideas. Like I made sure I was staying on top of my stuff, made sure I was sharp on all my information still making sure that the information I wasn't sure about, I am sure about now, and making sure I am studying my flow of flight hard, like, so the flow of flight is really what you're doing, like, your day-to-day -day tasks, so training was 
everything you're going to be doing from emergency to service to things that might only happen once in your career to things that might happen every day flow of service is every day that's going to be what you're going to do every day so i'm going to make sure i i studied it a lot but i'm going to do it more <laughs> after this video but um yeah so i also i've been talking to like my co-workers or classmates of people who were in my class and taking ideas from them studying with them that's another thing you want to do is network with your classmates and even though you're out of training you know those are now your co-workers so you want to learn from them still and with my IELTS instructor even though I haven't had it yet it's tomorrow I still ask a lot of questions I still when she calls and we talk I still ask questions I wasn't sure about. I still, you know, I still ask questions even though it wasn't the time yet. So really connect with your instructor and try to get some of those questions answered before I owe if you can, because that's what I did. And it made me feel a lot more comfortable that way. But yes, that is how I prep for IOE and how I plan to pass and watch your girl pass. Uh, thank you, and I'll see you guys in the next video.